What is up killers, Kev here and today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Special Edition. Today we are going to be looking at 5 player home mods to be added into your game. But without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. And for the fifth and final spot within this video is going to be the Lake House of Forest Mounts and Followers. This one is coming in a massive 129.8 megabytes of download. A few versions of these have been kicking around on this week for this particular mod. Not too sure what's going on. There may be a little bit of fixing, a little bit of patching and everything, so on and so forth. I'm not going to be showing absolutely everything in this mod just because it has a ton of things to be included within this mod. GG77 is very thorough and it likes to add a super amount of things. If you want to go check out a full synopsis of everything that does come with this mod, highly recommend going over to the link down below and reading up what you actually get with this one. But for this one, it's very easy, accessible to get to. I've said it's going to be the location closest to the particular lake house. Throw stone away from there, you will pretty much walk in there. For this one, there's going to be forest mounts and followers. There's going to be uh, sort of other different things too. There's going to be dogs around there, wild animals. There's over 50 species as well. Pretty much summon loads of different things too. I need anywhere between 5, 15 and 50. But please do bear that in mind. It could freeze your game. So sort of keep that in mind when you're going absolutely mental. Uh, loads of things to be included within this particular mod. Guys, go check it out. GG77 has a load of epic mods. And they are usually animal based. So maybe if you want to ride Godzilla with it, in the game gg77 has you covered epic mini gods player home is coming in at 53.3 kilobytes of a download this is going to be imperial agents 1992's first mini player home to come to skyrim this is a small location just within whiterun very close to the center of the capital go over there there should be a portal right next to as well there should be a lever pull the lever and you will instantly teleport up there to get back again pull the lever up upon this particular sediment and you will go back to whiterun Hence, do not jump off the edge of this particular play home. I do show you that at the end of this particular video. Um, you pretty much cannot get back. You are going to be foobar. No fast travel or anything else. It's going to have to be a forced load of this particular one. Very interesting location. Not so much added to this one. It's going to be very basic interior and exterior. You're obviously going to get your crafting and smithing areas throughout this particular play home. But all of that put aside, no particular god quotations. Uh, goodies to be headed into this particular home. Forest Cottage coming in at 59.3 megabytes of a download. Just a little cottage right outside of Riften for the Dover King to relax in and enjoy his time or her time shall we say off from slaying dragons for this one you do get a couple of goodies and features with it there is going to be most of the crafting stations outside including smelter smithing and anvil all in one out there with an adorable little cow and then once we go in it is a cute sort of confined area with not too much going on but it's very simplistic guys we do like sort of nice cozy houses that are just tucked out of the way maybe a small little retreat for you guys to go out there this is going to be a beautiful one too inside and out it just fits within the game absolutely perfect i would have kept this permanently within my game if the download size was a little bit less maybe 20 megabytes i'd have permanently just kept it there it's in a very nice location it fits extremely well within the vanilla base game the island of pinnipeds and penguins this one is going to be the version of 3.1 to date and the download size for this one is 63.6 megabytes of a download come visit the pinniped island with the nordic shack and animals that live within the island is located east of dawnstar sanctuary and for this one you do get a bunch of other different goodies you do get a beautiful small home to live in if that you do see fit to uh, there is also summonable mounts that is going to be a loads of books and spells found in a chest within this particular house so i'm not going to give too much away i got, really want you guys to try this out i love gg77 mods uh, they're absolutely awesome in so many different ways as companions as well there's going to be a little penguin which i do talk to within the footage on screen now and a bunch of other different things too such as spawning as you can tell from the footage i do go pretty mad now please do bear in mind you can pretty much spam these as much as you want have as many as you want but obviously the more you have the more like your game is going to freeze the cave coming in 104.4 kilobytes of a download 
The cave is a small but a place where you can be able to get and put all of your belongings, rest up in the cold, relaxing environment. There is some cooking hardware and an enchantment table, also an alchemy station for you guys to look at too. It's a pretty simplistic home for this one. As you can tell on the screen right now, this is the location. And obviously once we get in there, this is gonna be what it entails. Overall, it's not too bad. There's a collection of a few things within the storage compartment, a couple of beds for you and your follower, and as well, all the other different things that are displayed, or should I say, said within the description to do with this one. There is a crafting recipe that you'll be able to learn to craft some new, in quotations, special water to carry on with you throughout your journey couldn't find that particular recipe going through my play session within this particular video but if you did a little bit more digging i'm pretty sure you'd be able to find it let me know what you thought of this particular play home it's quite snug it's right out of the way and overall it's a pretty cool little hide away not a fully fleshed player's home which is not a bad thing at the same time and as well that download size is incredibly low so guys that's the end of this episode hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did I would very much appreciate a like on the video. Click that subscribe button. Right next as well, there is going to be a little bell icon. If you click that, you will get a notification in some way, shape, or form when I upload a video to the channel. But until the next one, guys, get a kiff it and get a get out.